Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest The Feud. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirement is 30 thieving. For the items needed, 1000 coins and any kind of gloves. Most gloves work, but for some reason Slayer and Ice Gloves do not. For the recommended items are approximately 2 stamina potions of 4 doses, depending on how much weight you are bringing along. And then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a combat 70 with a max hit of 10 and a combat 75 with a max hit of 7. There is a safe spot available for both quest bosses if you want to use ranged or magic. For the teleports, one teleportation method back to Ali Morrison to complete your quest that will be using a ring of dueling and one teleportation method to Polnif Nietzsche after starting the quest here in El Carrot. The fastest way would be using a scroll of redirection directly to Polnifnich, or using a Narda teleport scroll and taking the carpet ride, or simply run south and go through Chanty Pass. And then also one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is here just north of El Carrot. Here we'll find a quest sign and Ellie Morrisane. Let's talk to him and select option 2. Before we are starting the quest, we will first need to have a Caridian headpiece and a fake beard. Next, close the shop and use both items on each other and then wear the desert disguise. Next, let's talk to Ellie Morrisane again to start the quest. Select option 1, 2, 2 and then 1. Alright, now we will need to go to the Polnifnich bar. So either run or teleport to Polnifnich. Oh, by the way, you may drop the random item that you have bought involuntarily. That is unnecessary. So, let's go south of Polnifnich and there you'll find a pub. Enter it and trade Ellie the barman and buy three beers. Next, close it and next to the counter you should find Drunken Ellie. Use one beer on him and then skip through the dialogue. Once the conversation is over, do this two more times. After the third conversation is over, let's run north. You will need to talk to any bandit, come at 41 or 56. Try to find any bandit. There we go, let's talk to him. Next, we will need to go to the southwestern part of Polnifnich. There we'll find a lot of guys in purple with a purple tent. Here, in the most southwestern building, there we'll find, or around the building, you should find Ali, the operator. Talk to him. Next, let's go northeast and go to the agility sign that you've just passed. That is the camel shop. Enter it and talk to Ellie the camel man and select option 4, 2 and then 3. Next, once you have the receipts, let's return northeast to the northern part of this town and talk to any bandit, doesn't matter which level, and give him the first receipt. Level e, there we go. Right. Once the receipt is gone, let's return to the camel shop, and southwest of the camel shop, let's talk to Ali the operator to give him the second receipt. Uh, I 
they should be here. Once you have given him the receipt, you will need to select option 1 and then 2. No thanks. Next, let's go a little bit east and try to find the first villager that you see. Next, right click and pickpocket. Doesn't matter which one. If you fail, just try again. And once you've successfully pickpocketed a villager, let's return to Ali the operator and select option 1 and then 2. Next, let's return to the center of Polyphnic, and there you should find a water sign. Near the water sign, which is a well, you should find some street urchins. If they aren't near the well, then just try to look inside of some buildings. Try to find any street urchin and talk to him. After talking to him, a random villager will have a pointing arrow over his head. Right click and pickpocket. And this is thieving method 2 out of 3. Let's return to LAT operator to learn method 3 out of 3. No, go away. Alright, Ali, Ali, Ali. Let's select option 1. And he will give us a oak blackjack. Equip it and let's return to any villager once again. But that villager must not be close to any other NPC. Right click on the villager and knock out. And then right click while he's down. Pickpocket. And once you've successfully pickpocketed that villager, let's return to Ali, the operator. Because we are done with task 1 out of 2. Now we simply need to steal some jewels from the mayor of the town. So, let's return to the water sign. In the center of the town, just east. Just east of the agility sign. Here, just southwest of the water sign, you should find some big cactus. Be sure to wear your gloves as well as your desert disguise. Then click on the cactus. And there's nobody home. Next, let's go to the front door and use the key on the door. Then go north, there you'll find some stairs. Go upstairs and just a bit south you'll find a bed. Just one tile north of the bed you should find a landscape. Search it, click to continue and you'll find a safe. And now we just need to dial like an old phone, but here the numbers are clockwise. So let's first click on one twice. Then number 2, then set to 3, then set to 5, and then set to 8. And the safe will automatically open and you will get some jewels in your inventory. Once you have these, let's go back through the front door and return to Ali the Operator. Alright, Ali the Operator, you can have my jewels. Once the conversation is over, we will need to go a bit outside and talk to any combat level 55 Metafight Thug and talk to him. And it was Treacherous Ali. So, next, let's return to Ali the Operator, talk to him. And select option 2. Right, next let's return to the Polifnich pub, just in the southeastern corner of Polifnich. Inside we will need to talk to Ellie the barman. Talk to him and select option 3 and then 1. Next, let's go outside and just next to the southern wall you will find Ali the snake charmer. Next to him there is a money pot. 
use your leftover coin stack on a money pot, you'll put one coin inside and he will give you a snake charm and a snake basket. Next, let's return west to the Malefite tent and just west of there you should find a lot of desert snakes. Simply use your snake charm on any desert snake and this will either hypnotize a snake and put it in the basket or it will attack you. If it attacks you, then just simply kill it or run away and try again until you have a snake basket full. Next, let's return to the center of the town to the water sign. Just north of the agility sign, there you'll find a kebab shop. Enter it, which is just next to the well sign. Talk to Ellie the kebab seller and select option 3 until you have a bottle of hot sauce in your inventory. Once you have this, let's return to the agility sign, back to the camel shop and enter the pen just next to it by going through the house. Then use the red hot sauce on any of the two food trough. Once you've done that, let's return inside and you'll find two red dots on your minimap. Pick up one bucket. Unless you want to complete uh, my arm's big adventure, and then you'll need to pick up four buckets. Once you have at least one bucket, fill up the buckets with dung by simply using on it. And use again. I'll be right back and quickly hopping to get some more buckets. All right, once you have your buckets of dung, at least one, let's go north and north of the kebab shop. They should find a little hill going northwest. Follow it and you'll see a house. Inside, you should find Ellie the Hack. Talk to her twice. Twice, because we already have the camel shit. Oh, and she also took the full snake basket. Snake plus camel shit means Hag's Potion. Right, let's return to the Polyphneach pub. So we can poison Treacherous Alley, who is currently in the toilet. So in the northwestern room, so in the northwestern corner of the Polyphneach pub, you'll find a table with a beer on it. Use Hag's Poison on the beer. And now let's return to Alley the Operator to end this part of the quest. And now what we basically need to do is simply kill the two bosses and that's the quest already completed. So let's first talk to Ellie the Operator to finish this, then go outside and you'll find the Manifier Leader. Once you talk to him, he will spawn a comma 75 with a max hit of 7, which you will need to defeat. If you want to use a safe spot, then you simply need to run a bit north to the dead bush. Stand behind the dead bush and then you can simply use your ranged or magic. Use a dead bush properly and then you can use magic or ranged. This is your safe spot, but I will be using melee. All right, once the comma 75 has been defeated, let's talk to the Manified Leader. Oh wait, never mind, he has already been teleported. I didn't see it from this angle. Right, you may pick up your loot if you want to, and let's now go to the center of the town. There, we should need to talk to any random villager, it doesn't really matter. Just talk to any of them, and they will say that you have made it worse for them. Just select option two. Next, let's go north to the magic carpet north of Polnifnich and there you'll find the bandit leader. Talk to him to spawn the combat 70 with a max hit of 10. If you want to use the safe spot, you will need to enter the house just east of him. Just try to lure the bandit inside of the building and you can use the chest. 
Can I use a table as a safe spot? Yes, I can. Oh, nope. And you can simply use the chairs as a safe spot. But once again, I will be using melee. Alright, once you defeated this champion, skip through the conversation, pick up your loot, and now let's talk to any random villager once again. So let's go a bit south to the well. Where is there a villager? Street urchin. Villager, let's talk to him. Next, let's return to the center of the town and let's talk to the mayor who is in front of his house. He should be between the well and the fountain. Let's talk to him. And now we simply need to return to Ali Morrison in El Carrot to complete our quest. So, congratulations, you've completed the feud quest. You are awarded with one quest point, 15,000 thieving experience, 500 coins, as well as the ability to steal from villagers bandits and menophytes and with this quest completion you've now also unlocked the rogue trader mini quest and by completing this mini quest you will unlock elimor sane's stall's full potential elimor sane will be able to buy and sell various different runes sell and buy caridian desert cloth as well as offer defensive and offensive blackjacks up to maple Alright, that was my quick guide how to complete the feud quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.